Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Uh, have you have you guys heard of Pilates? Yeah. Woo! Uh, it's, uh, you know, yoga on these machines kind of thing. Uh, so I was like, uh, I was on a date with this girl, and she tells me, like, hey, you want to go to Pilates with me? You like to work out? You do some yoga? And I'm like, uh, okay. I look at the word and I'm like, pilots? What is this for? Like, why is it called Pilates, and not pilots? And she was like, well, this is how it is. <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, so we're, we're in the studio. I uh, look around and I'm like, uh, wait, there's only women here. Why am I like, it's a red flag. Uh, you, know, you guys probably stay away for a reason. And I'm like, okay, uh, let's, uh, I'm like, you know, I've already paid my $35, so let's just go work out. All right, I'm on this machine. And this lady's like, okay, uh, stand on this machine and you know, do a little lunge, and I'm like, it's vibrating like fucking crazy, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Like, this is an unstable surface. Why am I doing this on an unstable surface? <laughs> and like, well, it's just a core workout. It's time to stretch your core and get in touch with your purple yogi. And I'm like, what the fuck is a purple yogi? <laughs> you know, we Indians invented yoga. There's hatha yoga, vinyasa yoga, there's no fucking thing as a purple yoga. <laughs> and I mean, if I really wanted to work out on an unstable surface, I would go to the Himalayas, smoke some ganja, do yoga with the hippies. <laughs> Why the fuck should I pay $35 to work out on an unstable surface? <laughs> Anyways, you know, uh, now that we're top on the topic of India, Let's talk about my mom who lives in India. You know? So she calls me the other day and she's like, Abhi, you're 34 years old. We need to get you married. Hey, oh. I'm like, uh, Mom, I'm not really interested in arranged marriage. <laughs> uh, I want to you know, meet the girl, you know, uh, like her, go on dates, propose, you know, the good stuff. She's like, okay, uh, I want you to talk to this girl from Connecticut. <laughs> and you can connect with her. <laughs> Mom, it's not Connecticut. It's Connecticut. I think I like the sound of Connecticut. <laughs> so you can connect with her. Her number is 917. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I told you I'm not interested in an arranged marriage. Mom. And she's like, uh, okay. Uh, do you have a pen and paper on you? 917? <laughs> Mom, do you have a hearing problem? What's going on? Why are you not listening to me? Okay, uh, great. Uh, are you ready to take down number 917? Mom, oh, just stop. By the way, I'm seeing somebody. Oh, is she India? <laughs> you can hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, is she India? No, she's not. Okay, 917? <laughs> no, she's Indian. She's Indian. Really? No, I'm kidding. She's not Indian, but she's really sweet. And you'll like her. Um, what is she? <laughs> Human? <laughs> no, like religion, is she Hindu? Uh, no mom, she's Jewish. She's Jewish? What are the kids going to be? <laughs> uh, Hindu? <laughs> uh, anyway, so mom is not the only crazy person in the family. My brother can be... <coughs> pretty hard ass when I uh, you know, ask him to do something. So I'm like, uh, hey bud, like, uh, you know, our uncle is uh, pretty old, is coming from out of town. Uh, make sure there's some food and water on the table, you know, like, uh, and he's like, oh, okay, great. Uh, do you want the water to, uh, for drinking or to wash his hands? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would I ask you for water to wash his hands? Like, you said he's old, maybe he can't walk. <laughs> he's not fucking coming on a stretcher, dude. Like he's he's gonna walk in to the home, and he's gonna go to the sink and wash his hands. Oh, uh, what if the sink is too far for him? <laughs> are you are you do you do this just for the kicks or like what the fuck is going on with you? Like why are you pissing me off? Just go get the fucking water. You know what, bro? This is how dictators are born. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I asked you for water and you make a Hitler out of me? <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know you had a role model. <laughs> <laughs> you already chose Hitler for yourself. <laughs> oh my god. 
on, dude. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why don't you fucking go get the water? Otherwise, I'm going to kill you. You know what? Actually, you know what? I take that back. I'm not a dictator. You know? <laughs> Can you please bring some drinking water for our uncle who's visiting from out of town? Oh, that's better. You know? You know, politeness suits you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so do you want cold water or room temperature? <laughs> <laughs> just go get the fucking water, dude. Like, just don't piss me off anymore. Like, well, what if I bring cold water and it becomes warm by the time he gets here? I'm like, man, do you really do this to piss me off? Right? Are you, you know, please go get the water. I'm really tired. If you get the water, I will ask mom to give you the number of the girl from the <laughs> <laughs> She's out there waiting, Abby, too, that girl for you. She's out there.